Today is the 12th day of January. It is Friday. Welcome to Life Audio Bible. I'm Edward John. It is great, always great and wonderful to be with you. I pray you're doing well and that you're feeling strong this last day of our read this week as we're reading through the book of Galatians. And today we're going to read about our freedom. Friend, you are free. In Christ, and you'll understand it after this read how incredibly powerful it is to be living and embracing the freedom that Christ has provided for us. After this read, I'm going to let you go because I'm praying that you'll listen to this text today over and over and over again until it becomes a part of you. You know that. The renewing of our mind comes from hearing the Word of God. And as we renew our minds, we'll also understand and know the will of God, which I'm pretty sure you want to know, right? What is God's will for your life? What is God's will for my life? Well, it comes through the renewing of our minds, and that comes through the Word of God, which washes our minds and gives us God's thoughts instead of our own. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to let you go so that you can have a good weekend after this text. And um, I want to say, though, thank you for standing with me and supporting Life Audio Bible. You are very needed at this point. So as the Holy Spirit leads, feel free to go to the Facebook page and follow the links there and be a part of sowing the word with me. All right. Let's read the word of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Here we go. Stand firm, therefore, in the liberty by which Christ has made us free, and don't be entangled again with a yoke of bondage. Behold, I, Paul, tell you that if you receive circumcision, Christ will profit you nothing. Yes, I testify again to every man who receives circumcision that he is a debtor to do the whole law. You are alienated from Christ, you who desire to be justified by the law. You have fallen away from grace. For we, through the Spirit, by faith, wait for the hope of righteousness. For in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision nor uncircumcision amounts to anything but faith working through love. You are running well. Who interfered with you that you should not obey the truth? This persuasion is not from him who calls you. A little yeast grows through the whole lump. I have confidence toward you in the Lord that you will think no other way. But he who troubles you will bear his judgment, whoever he is. But I, brothers, if I still preach circumcision, why am I still persecuted? Then the stumbling block of the cross has been removed. I wish that those who disturb you could cut themselves off. For you, brothers, were called for freedom. Only don't use your freedom as an opportunity for the flesh, but through love be servants to one another. For the whole law is fulfilled in one word, in this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. But if you bite and devour one another, be careful that you don't consume one another. But I say, walk by the Spirit, and you won't fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusts against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary to one another, that you may not do the things that you desire. But if you're led by the spirit, you're not under the law. Now the deeds of the flesh are obvious, which are adultery, sorcery, hatred, strife, jealousies, outbursts of anger, rivalries, Divisions, heresies, envy, murders, drunkenness, orgies, and things like these, of which I forewarn you, even as I also forewarned you, that those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faith, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. 
those who belong to Christ have crucified the flesh with its passions and lusts. If we live by the Spirit, let's also walk by the Spirit. Let's not become conceited, provoking one another and envying one another.